What up guys, Spider Ninja Miller here with another nerf review today in the Rival series, Rival Edge. Only because I realized I showed this, but I never did a review on it. So, why not? Why don't we give Le Mercury the review that it deserves? Alrighty guys, so external overview starting up the front, no barrel attachment because this is a Rival Blaster. Uh, down below, we do actually get to see the magazine, how it gets loaded. And below is the uh, loading mech. To, do, to get to that, you gotta prime it back, which exposes it. The capacity of this is five rounds, very similar to a Kronos. And then you just load them in there, shut the priming handle, then fire. And it's a pretty basic system because legit, it's just like a Kronos. Now back to the priming handle. The priming handle is a bolt action that you can screw on to either side. It is a thread in, and of course, to prime, you do that. The prime stroke is actually pretty smooth for a rival blaster. Um, I will admit though, for this one, it is pretty hard to get used to because you gotta... It's a pretty hard system to get used to, especially when you try to find the best way to quickly do it. And it's a weird system. And uh, down below, we do have a safety, so when it's down, you can pull the trigger, lift it up, and it's hot. And then back here, we got an, an unjamming gun. So after you prime the blaster, you're not able to prime it again, and this overrides that lock. Sometimes you gotta get a nail in there. What the? Hold on. There we go. So it unlocks the lock, and I believe this also allows you to shotgun load. I haven't really tested, and I don't know if I ever plan to. And now down to the grip. This grip is freaking comfy, guys. It is big, oversized, and it is a good grip. And what's funny about this blaster is it's big, but even if you take off the bolt handle, This can actually slide into a holster. You just gotta take off the bolt handle or be careful where you place it. You can put it in a holster, thread in, kind of like your James Bond. And now you're ready to fight. And of course, you can place it on either side so it's full ambi. Full ambi, bruh. And of course, I just put it on the left side because I don't want to. I'd rather just keep it on an easy side for me to use. But anyway, that's an external overview of the Mercury. Now I'll show you this thing firing. Firing the included rival rounds, the uh, kind of lime green ones. All out. I'm gonna go as fast as I can. Ah, oh, that was pretty fast. Firing the Mercury is a pretty good experience. It's got good FPS and it's just it's a good thing. But like I said, as you guys probably could see, it's a weird system to get used to, but with very good firing performances, there's no objective reason to avoid purchasing this. It's a really good system. It works just like the Kronos. You have a firing indicator back here that shows you firing an owl. Jerk. But you have a pretty basic to use uh, sidearm that's really comfy to hold and very fun to use. But now the biggest question that I thought you guys would want to know, how does it compare to the Kronos? Which is essentially the same thing. Pretty much where these two have a similarity, they both hold five shots in an internal magazine, and the Kronos is about a little bit smaller than this, has about an equally comfy grip, so it's like, which one would you choose? If I personally were to pick either one, I'd pick the Mercury. I'm just kidding. I'd, of course, go with the Kronos. The Kronos is an overall, in my opinion, a better pistol. It just feels better. A lot easier to holster and it's it's a more comfy shape it's a very easy to use sidearm and it's legit one of the best overall rival blasters that are out there 
because it works nearly the exact same except no ambient on the safety unless you wanted to um But yeah, no, personally I'd pick the Kronos over the Mercury, but like I said, there's no objective reason not to purchase this because it's a pretty good blaster for what it is. The only thing is it just it's probably a little too big and also it's a little unwieldy, but you essentially got standard prime or the bolt action. Which one will you choose? Sorry, that's a cool thumbnail right there. I was thinking about that. I was like... <laughs> well, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching the review. Um, I probably won't put a purchase link for this one. You guys pretty much know where to get this. If your Wal local Walmart still has this, which surprisingly enough, mine does, that's pretty good. But I do recommend other blasters in this series. There are two... Sadly, the Rival Edge series didn't do as very well, so they immediately just cut it off. There's a few that I would personally recommend. Uh, of course, the Saturn, link in the description, and the Jupiter. Those two are very, very good blasters, in my opinion. And I, I don't hate on this, but if you are to go for a regular bolt action, go for the Jupiter. It makes it feel a lot cooler. But this one, you can get a cool emotional response from going... But thank you guys so much for watching the review. If you can, like, subscribe. See you in the next video.